So the beginning of this video is actually this video, which is how I made my low pressure aeroponic cloner. Well, as it turned out, that cloner ended up being a really great base for other aeroponic gardens. The one I wanna show you today is gonna to be for a single plant in a five gallon bucket. It is fully aeroponic and I can't wait to show you how I did it. Before we get into this, make sure you download the guide here and watch the video on how to make the low pressure aeroponic cloner because I'm not gonna go over that again in this video. We're just gonna move forward from the information and the base that we already have set up from that information. So in order to turn this cloner into a low pressure aeroponic garden, all I had to do was add two things. One, I needed to extend the pipe and make the pipe go up through the bottom of the five gallon bucket. And two, I needed the five gallon bucket in the lid. So that's why I don't glue things together so that we can take them apart. So all I had to do to extend this was just to take the T off the cloner and add this extension pipe, which would take it all the way up into the, the very bottom of where the net cup is gonna be and the bottom of the lid. And then I just used the same spray mechanism that we built for the cloner to deliver the water straight up towards the lid. This is because we don't want that whole deluge of water to hit our roots. If it goes straight up towards the lid, then it's gonna be dispersed and much more fine particulates that are gonna hit the roots in a, a much more of a spray rather than just getting them soaking wet like you might find in like a tower garden. Um, this is gonna allow much more respiration to happen. You know, I'll get into the science here in just a minute, but first let me get past the build. So I'll take that extender pipe all the way up through the bottom of the five gallon bucket and to the very bottom of where the net cup's gonna hang. And then like I said, we're gonna try to spray it directly at the side top of the bucket. Then I drilled another hole in the lid so that I have access and I can see my roots and we can peek in here and I can kind of see that I'm getting some really nice aeroponic roots that aren't getting smacked with the water. Instead, they're just getting lightly hit with the droplets of water. Which now, let me talk a little bit about the science and why we want a fully aeroponic environment with no water in the bottom. So with the cloner, I could have just put a plant in the cloner and let it grow up and let the roots go into the water and sort of had a deep water culture and an aeroponic garden. But I wanted a fully aeroponic garden. So that's why doing the bucket on top with no water in that bucket and just allowing the roots and the air to be in that bucket is the only way to do a real aeroponic garden. And that's important to me because aeroponics really, really accelerates respiration, both root and cellular respiration. And what that really means is, is the process of taking carbon dioxide and turning it into oxygen and then creating usable energy out of that uh, is accelerated in an environment where the roots have more available oxygen. So if that process is accelerated, then all of the other processes of photosynthesis are gonna be accelerated too, meaning a bigger plant and better growth. That's why aeroponic gardens tend to show uh, faster growth and bigger yields. You're increasing the overall respiration of your plant and photosynthetic activity. Make sure you're subscribed to follow this grow. I'm gonna keep showing you how everything goes in this low pressure aeroponic garden. I'm also gonna be building other things to go on top of this garden, uh, kind of as a hub for your nutrient solution and your pump, and then different attachments that we can put on to build different types of aeroponic gardens out of it. So be sure to download the guide and check out that other video so you have a good idea of how to build the base for this garden. And if you wanna turn your whole house into an indoor garden, then you're gonna to wanna to check out the School of Hydroponics. I put together a huge course on, uh, on everything I know about indoor hydroponic gardening, lighting, air quality, everything that you're gonna to need to know to fill your house with plants. So make sure you check all that out at Humble Growth Hydroponics. I linked everything up in the description box. Let me know what you think about this build. I look forward to seeing pictures of successful grows in this. It's a really cool, simple, inexpensive garden. Uh, I really hope this has helped you and let's grow together. Right, Rishi? Yeah.